Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board-certified criminal defense lawyer. And that means I actually try cases. I go across the street, I go where the courthouse is, and uh, I actually show up and I try cases before a jury, and I win. Sometimes we lose, but most of the time we win. And today we are reacting to Amber Heard. But before we get to that, guess what? This episode, like all episodes, is brought to you by eForms.com. eForms.com, if you need a form for anything whatsoever, let's say your grandma's living in your basement and she and her girlfriend are, you know, they're really loud having sex all the time and you just can't take it anymore and they don't have a lease or anything, so you need to give her an eviction. Well, go to eForms.com. You can kick your grandma and her girlfriend out no problem. Don't hire me to do that. You just go to eForms.com. Bill of sale, power of attorney, whatever you need, go to eForms.com. It doesn't matter what state you're in because they got you covered. Let's talk about Amber Heard. Here's the thing. Remember, we, we kind of went through the whole trial together because I covered a big chunk of that trial. And remember Elaine, Elaine, who is the most tone-deaf lawyer I've ever seen in my life. I can't even believe she said some of the shit that she said. And not knowing the fucking rules. She got her ass handed to her so many times. It was just outrageous. Objection, Your Honor. I'm trying, Judge. I'm trying. Do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. What the fuck? Who fucking does that? Right? Amber Heard's lawyers for Amber Heard officially appealed her loss in the defamation case brought by Johnny Depp, arguing there were several errors in the trial. Let's talk about that. The only way you get a new trial or get any kind of relief on appeal is if there's some kind of error. It's got to be either error with the evidence, the way it came in. So in other words, the a judicial error, so some kind of decision or order that the judge made that there was an error there, or the, some kind of problem with the jury. Now, in this case, there was an issue with one of the jurors. That'll probably be one of their issues, and in, in whether or not that it was the right juror because of the notice that went out or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. So Amber Heard's attorneys cited exclusion of the November 2020 libel case Depp lost against the Britain Sun newspaper, where Depp was referred to as a wife beater, according to the appeal. That's one of their issues. They're saying, you excluded that. That was an error, Judge. And so we're going to go to the Court of Appeals. Here's the thing. Evidentiary decisions by a judge and what comes in and what goes out are afforded an abundance of discretion. What that means, basically, is that a judge has a lot of discretion on what comes in and what comes out. And if the judge says something's going to be more prejudicial than probative, so that means it's going to hurt one side more than it's going to help the other side. You know what I'm saying there? And so if it's more prejudicial than probative, and a judge makes that ruling, which is what she did in this case, and and there's different standards of proof as well. So, in in fact, in and in that case, Amber Heard wasn't even a party. The appeal also asserts that Depp's team didn't prove actual malice in the cause and that the jury was improperly instructed about the role of actual malice in the case. Well, one of the things that they did is they had jury instructions and they all agreed to what the instructions were ahead of time. And in early November, Depp's legal team appealed the court's decision to grant Heard's $2 million Los Angeles Times reported. So Depp's team is also appealing the $2 million verdict. So now what happens? So now the case will go to a three-judge panel uh, for a decision. So what happens is, okay, you file your notice of appeal, and then you have so much time, usually about 30 days, to write a brief. So that's a legal uh, document that you file. And then the other side gets a chance to file their brief, and then you get a reply brief. So so you file yours, they file theirs, you get a chance to file a reply, and then uh, you go for oral argument. And that really is very limited. You probably get 15, 20 minutes to argue your side, and then they get 15, 20 minutes to argue their side, and then the judges will rule. Now, the judges can do a bunch of different things. They can just affect the actual money award, or they can also uh, uh, say, okay, this was an error and it was fundamentally unfair, so we're going to grant you a new trial. Or they can send it back for an evidentiary hearing for considerations by the trial court. So, if they, you know, in light of this, then this. But the problem that, they, that you have is 
this is a jury decision. And courts generally don't like to upset jury decisions unless it was so egregious. And in this case, you can tell that they, they weren't moved by passion or prejudice because they found against Johnny Depp on one scenario and then for him on the, on the other case. So it seems like they were very thoughtful and the record really does support the verdict, in my opinion. And, he, and let's just talk about what did the jury award. The jury awarded $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages. But in Virginia, there's a cap on punitive damages, and that's 350000 So Johnny Depp's judgment was $10,350,000. That's his judgment against her. And her judgment was $2 million, and that was uh, for compensatory damages and no punies, punitive damages. So you reduce Johnny Depp's by $2 million, uh, and so it's basically $8 million $350,000 judgment, which I don't think she has, unless she's banging some rich guy or a woman. Anyway, so and so so where do they go from here? I, you know, I, I don't know, you know, what is in store for Amber Heard. I mean, I think she's in Spain kind of hanging out with somebody that's got money. You know, and that, that's what drives me nuts, okay? And, and guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If you're with a woman that doesn't have her own shit in her own program, you need to be with somebody that does. And, you know, same with you, ladies. If you're with a guy that doesn't have a fucking car, um, then you need to get a new man. Because you both should have your own shit. You both should have your own program running. You both should have, you know, and, and, and guess what happens when you do that? You're independent, but you also share experiences together, right? And, and so I'm really suspicious of any woman that just latches on for the dough. And that's what she seems like to me. But... Looks like she's going to be in Aquaman too. I don't know how marketable she is or, or isn't. It seems to me that people, you know, love to see a train wreck, right? You drive by a fucking uh, car wreck and, you know, you rubberneck. Well, Amber Heard just does kind of seems that way to me. Like, if she's in a movie, people will go see it just to see the train wreck. I don't know how good an actress or actress she, she is or isn't. I know Johnny Depp is fantastic, and I've loved him in pretty much everything he's done, except for Edward Scissorhands. That was just a weird, uh, weird movie. Uh, clip, clip. Uh, anyway, this is just uh, our little take on the appeal process and what to expect. My guess is, you know, and 99, 90, not, maybe not 99, but 90 to 95% of appeals go by the wayside. They're not accepted and district court's decision is usually affirmed. Don't expect that Amber Heard is going to get a whole lot of relief from the Court of Appeals. She might, but I don't think so. If you have any questions about this or anything else, send us some comments. We'll be looking at these over the next week or so. We really do appreciate the comments. We also really appreciate you, and that's why we have a merch store. So go down to the bonfire. You can get bucket hats, uh, hoodies, sweatshirts. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and, uh, and we'll see you next time on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case He know all the charges that you about to face You ain't coming home till 2058 That self-snitching gon' get you put away Bruce Rivers just broke down your case He know all the charges that you about to face You ain't coming home till 2058 That self-snitching gon' get you put away 23-hour lockdown, please, is that my god?